What's going on YouTube? This is Dottie with Ignite Cinemas and today I'm going to be showing you guys a really awesome and rad, almost comic book like split screen transition using Final Cut Pro 10. No plugins needed. Let's get it. All right, so like I said, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a really awesome comic book-like-esque split screen transition effect that will really enhance your videos. Now, if you know on this channel, I've done some tutorials on how to do a split screen and also a four-way split screen, but this is taking that on steroids, okay? We're gonna go into it. So let's go ahead and jump into Final Cut Pro 10. You will need two different scenes, so make sure you have those. Let's go ahead and hop on in. All right, so now that we're in Final Cut, first gonna wanna have my two scenes to work with. So one, shouts out to my YMCA family. We did a little promo for them. And then the next one, who doesn't love some adorable dogs? Shouts out to Dog Crazy. This is a commercial we did for them. And we're gonna do that awesome split screen transition with these two. So once you have your scene, you're gonna wanna place the other on top of it and we're gonna make it disappear for the time being. So we're gonna go to our keyboard and hit V. And a rule of thumb, you most likely gonna wanna have two different distinct scenes. That way you can tell transition is happening. And because you're gonna put so much time into keyframing, it's gonna be tedious. You want to make sure there's actually a transition going. Okay, so first we're gonna start with this bottom scene and we're gonna grab our playhead. We're gonna select the scene first. We're gonna start at the beginning and we're gonna come over here to transform. It might be hidden, it's gonna be on the right hand side, but we're gonna primarily focus on position. Now if you're fancy, yeah, of course you can change the scale and rotation, but I like keeping things simple and I know you guys on this channel love simplicity. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna hit this plus sign to add a keyframe and we're gonna be focusing on the X axis. So I'm gonna grab my playhead and I'm gonna move it out right there I like when I, Naomi's dancing right here and it's gonna go into the next scene okay so once we have that selected there we can start moving this out I'm gonna go ahead and completely take this all the way out because by the time this part happens I essentially want the dogs to start coming in okay so when you're done it should look like this all right, so once we have that in motion, we're gonna focus back up front and we are gonna move over a little bit. And you see this open black space right here. This is why I mentioned that it's kind of like a comic book effect because comic books, you know, they have the lines. So we're gonna move the playhead a little bit over and I'm gonna hit M on my keyboard so I can mark this spot right here. Now we're going to go to our top scene and we're going to disable it so we can see what's going on. So immediately, once starting it, I'm going to have the playhead at the beginning. I'm going to select the scene and I'm going to come up here to transform position and focus again on the x-axis. I'm going to double click this and I use my mouse. I just drag my mouse up. All right, so I got it out the scene. All right, and I said it's important to mark it because right here, essentially, I want to start, the dogs start coming in, okay? So, now that I have the positioning correct right here, I'm all selected. Again, I'm gonna come to add a keyframe up top. We're good to go and we're gonna be focused on this X axis. I'm gonna come back over here to the playhead, use the right arrow key, bam. And then come back over here. I'm gonna move the mouse down and have it peek out a little bit, just like that. All right, nothing too crazy. Come back over here, hit the right arrow key, and we're gonna play this game where we eyeball it and keep things moving. And it's gonna be this process throughout the whole time. Every time I come over here, hover, and use the right arrow key, I'm gonna come back over here and make sure we're still aligned and eyeball it as good as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect. Right arrow key, right arrow key. Okay, let's adjust. Let's adjust. Let's come back over here, hover, right arrow key, right arrow key, and come back up here and adjust. Again, tedious, right? It's editing. Come over here, hover over it, right arrow key, come back here, select, scroll down on the mouse, adjust. 
over here right arrow key again and we're gonna do this for the whole duration we are almost done where we are going to be filling this over and once the bottom scene is completely gone I'm gonna come to the x-axis and we can actually zero it out and we are good so when you play back it should look like this easy peasy look how cool that looks and then you have a cool split screen transition that you can start incorporating in all your videos to bring some life to them and I call it the cartoon effect because again you know how cartoons or comic books I should say have that block right here well that's essentially what we're doing we're doing the same thing now um, bonus if you guys wanted to change the background color so obviously this one's black I would go to the generator, the title sequences up here, go to generators, go to solids, and we're gonna, we can do anything we want. We can change this to white if we wanted to, right? And we can make that a bright white. So when we have that transition, you have the white background, or if you wanna do a custom, you can bring the custom color generator here. We can get crazy, we can get orange. I'm gonna keep it orange because that's ignites colors, right? And then, boom, we have that effect. Really easy peasy, that's how you do it. Hope this was helpful, hope this was easy peasy. Enjoy. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it was awesome and you got some value from it. If you did, please smash that like button for me right now. And if you wanna see more videos like this in the future, as well as gear unboxings and reviews, as well as filming tips and tricks, please, Subscribe to the channel so you never miss a video. And as always, don't forget to ignite. See ya.